What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia. You can call me Tia or Sunny, whichever one you like. I am back with another video. This is like a natural face, but a little pop color with my lips. And I'm feeling it. So you guys always tell me I always do neutral lips and stuff. So here you go. I did a red lip. I mean, yeah, like I'm feeling myself, the classic red lip, nice little, I have a black dress on, so it's a nice little black dress with this pop of red is like giving me life right now. Black, red, ooh, uh. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video and let's get into this video. Bruh, something's wrong with me. What is wrong with me? So I know I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Matte Ambition foundation all day shine free foundation and it's matte and if you guys have seen my videos you know that your girl is dry drier than the sahara desert like this needs water okay once i have moisturizer i need more moisturizer so i'm going to moisturize my face with my regular face cream because this is really the only thing that like really hydrates my face i don't have a drugstore recommendation but if you guys know a drugstore recommendation that has um like vitamin c vitamin e all those good vitamins in it leave it in the comment section below because i um i want an affordable one because this is like 60 something dollars so yeah i don't be trying to use her every day she's only for special occasions but yeah i apply a generous amount just because i know my skin needs it because that matte foundation is going to suck every bit of oil out of my face. So now I'm glowing. I'm glowing already, sis. Like, ooh, look at me. Get you some. I'm telling you for my dry skin babies, it will change your life. For my primer, I'm going to use the No Filter Blurring Primer. This is really... Oh, it's like an Odie but goody. I used to use this all the time as my primer. And I just, you know, new stuff came out on the market and I used other stuff. But this is a great primer. So I'm just going to dab that all over my face. And then we're going to start working it in. And I really want to work it in my forehead because I do have some texture up there. I just want to out any of those pores that's going on any of that texture just blur out as much as I can I don't want pores period so I'm gonna take this foundation this is the full spectrum like I told you guys the matte foundation from covergirl this is in the shade tan golden one they have a contour and correct palette it looks like this and should I like color correct <laughs> I never color correct so we're going to see if this is full coverage because I do have pimples here, breakouts. That is getting way better. And then I have breakouts on my chin too. Not even breakouts, but um, scars, dark circles. Dark. What am I saying? I have dark circles and I have dark spots. You guys can see it clearly. Um, But we're going to see if this is really full coverage. I do like the consistency of the foundation. I always love matte foundation because I don't like watery, dewy foundations. They just see slipping and sliding everywhere. I like matte foundations, even though I'm dry, like that's just so weird, right? But doing I me, mean, matte foundations, they're just sturdy, like they thick and they just go on, boom, be on your face. And that's what I like. I don't want my foundation to be sliding all over the place. It really didn't cover up my dark circle, my dark spots. My chin had covered it up pretty well. But I am actually gonna go in with the color corrector. Because I want a full coverage beat. That's just what I like. I'm gonna take this palette. It's so freaking pretty. And I'm gonna take that orangey peach shade and I'm gonna just dab it where I need a little extra Oh, I know I don't want to add too much of this because it can make your skin look orange. Mm, mm, mm. We don't want that. We don't want like an oompa loompa. All right, take some more. Okay, so I do have their all day idle brightening concealers, but it doesn't have the shade on 
Yeah. What's going on, copper girl? I can't even tell y'all the shade that I'm using because it doesn't have it on here. I'm gonna try to find this shade and put it in the description box below for you guys so that you can know what shade I am because that looks pretty good. I'm not even gonna lie, it looks pretty good. It feels a little watery. <laughs> and I don't like watery consistencies because most of the time that means it's not gonna be full coverage. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little bit of blending. Okay, that's a pretty good highlight. I feel like the light medium neutral would be a better highlight for me, for my liking, because that other one was too dull. It looks like it's disappearing. Like as I'm blending it out, it just looks like it's disappearing into my skin. It's not really giving me any extra coverage. All right, so I'm gonna try to take some of this color right here in the palette right here and it's supposed to be a concealer and I'm gonna use that to go on top and see if it's gonna give me more of a highlight yeah see that's a that's a highlight right there and this is more coverage so I like this this little palette nice and handy then you got your dark shades up in here so you can do a little contour action and I am gonna do a little contour action with this so I'm gonna take this one right here and just put it on my face Now I'm gonna blend out my contour. I've never used these products before, so it's kind of like a first impression. And I really do like this little contour, conceal and correct little palette that they got going on. So I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty Loose Setting Powder and I am about to set this face so that it does not move throughout the day. I need to really find a good loose setting powder from the drugstore. I tried the Maybelline one, but it was too pink. And then their banana one was too uh, too light for me. Like it, made, it left me looking ashy. And we ain't trying to look like a ghost. So I'm gonna do what I normally do to my face. I usually set my face with a powder contour. So like I'll set my contour with a powder. So I'm gonna take their all day powder foundation. Looks like this. And let me get a nice little brush. And it's a little dark, so I don't wanna take that much. I just wanna set that area. Not everything is set and looking nice, looking real nice. I'ma just wipe off the powder on my face. <laughs> it looks like really good, you guys. Like I really wish I had a good loose setting powder for y'all, but I really, I have not found a good loose setting powder from the drugstore. I heard the Maybelline Fit Me was good, but mm, it wasn't good for me. I like thick things, you know what I mean? I'm gonna use my ColourPop Brow Pomade. So maybe this will be like a drugstore slash affordable video, even though this Huda Beauty ain't affordable. That's really like the only thing that's not affordable. Everything else, yeah. Y'all, I keep watching this show. Well, not a show. It's a movie called Napoli Ever After. And it's making me tear up a little bit. Please go watch this movie after this. It's called Napoli Ever After. It's really, really good. So they have a bunch of new palettes. This one is the F. S105, the Posh palette. It's like a punch of purples and mauve colors. And then they have the Gravity palette, which is more like, when I think of Gravity, I think of like the space and more like that type of feel. It's giving me like spacey vibes, you know? And then this one is the Zodiac palette. So, of course, it matches like the Zodiac signs 
colors. And then they have the Reverence palette, which is the one that I'm gonna be taking today. And I'm gonna use this color. Yeah, I'm gonna use this shade right here. And I'm gonna use that as my transition color. Go down, go down, go down. Yeah, let me see you go to town, yeah. Go to town. Okay, I like that color. It's blending really good. I was kind of nervous about how it would blend, but it's blending really nice, actually. I'm gonna build it up on that outer V and just go around in a circle. And then I'm gonna bring it out, fan it out a little bit. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of that brown and run it under my lash line my waterline there is a little bit of kickback in the eyeshadow palette but i don't really care about that like it doesn't i don't care as long as there's not no kickback on my face you feel me this shade oh i don't want to drop this palette because i really like it <laughs> i'm gonna take this one and this one and i'm gonna put that in the inner corner because just this shade it would be good on my lid because it's really dark and my inner corner is not really giving me that bright effect that i want All right, I'm gonna line my eyes now. I'm not gonna do a wing or anything like that. So that was not working out. So I'm gonna take this CoverGirl eyeliner. That one was not black enough. It was like space gray. Annoying. So I'm gonna add, <laughs> I keep getting sidetracked because my eczema is itching and it's making my mind go to that instead of my face. You feel me? But we gonna push through, pushing through. I'm going to add some mascara. And this is waterproof mascara from Neutrogena. And of course, I have to add Sasha because Sasha is that girl, that girl she is. Do you feel what I'm saying? What I'm throwing down? Are you picking it up? She is it, period. So yeah, I'm gonna add her. <laughs> that was a lie. My face is really sitting right now. Like she's giving you a full course meal. Oh wow, okay. Let me apply these lashes. All right, I'm gonna take those same two shades that I used for my inner corner and I'm gonna highlight with that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Do y'all see that? Like, hi, hello, how are you? That's enough for that set, cause like you can see it a little bit from the front. Let me take a little bit of the gold shade cause I just took some of that champagne and see if you can still see it from the front. Uh, a little bit, not that much. It's a little bit better with the gold added to it, so. So, I'm going to take a lip color that I normally would not take, and that is, boom. You can't even see the shade, hold on. Boom. We taking a red lip today, bear. I'm gonna take this first because I wanna line my lips. Let me spray my face with this CoverGirl setting spray. This joint actually like, it's not a mist. It says it's a mist, but this joint like spits at me. All right, you guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful, helpful, and hopefully inspiring. If you did, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you wanna see next. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, it is free be a part of the gang i would love to have you a part of my gang because we always out here you know we always out here dibbling and dabbling everywhere doing everything we doctors we lawyers you know what i'm saying we business women you feel me like my gang is like really it period i love y'all so much because you guys don't have to watch my videos but you do when you come back and then you come back again, and then you come back again. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that will be in the description box below. I'm definitely back on Snapchat again. And I be on Twitter, dibbling and dabbling, saying whatever be coming to my mind. You know what I'm saying? Just be out here. Boop, tweet, tweet, tweet. But yeah, definitely follow me on all my social media accounts and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.